All right, so now we're gonna tour the playback menu and they are these three tabs here. So um, the three blue tabs, basically protect images, you can select images you want to protect. Basically, um, when you protect images, um, they will be undeletable. So you can't really delete them from the um, delete function, but that is um, only on camera to prevent you from accidentally deleting an image. It will not protect your images against a card format or by deleting them from a PC. So you can protect all images in folder, unprotect all images in a folder, all images on card, or unprotect all images from card. And rotate image, pretty much self-explanatory. You press set and it rotates your image. And you can erase images Basically, you can select and erase the images you don't want. Sorry about that. You select and erase the images you don't want. You can erase all images in a certain folder and all images on the card. Print order. Um, basically, it has something to do with printing your photos from your camera. But I've never used this either because I never ever print my images straight from the camera. Photo book setup. I never do any photo books with my camera either. So... Creative filters. So the camera has a few creative filters for you. You have grainy black and white, um, soft focus, fisheye effect, art bold effect, water painting effect, toy camera effect, miniature effect. Basically, these are just a few filters for you to play around with. Um, moving on, we have raw image processing. So this is um, quite useful at times if you don't have access to, let's say, a computer. But let me demonstrate that for you. So basically to process raw images, you have to shoot raw images. All right, so let's shoot a raw image. All right, so basically you can um, process raw images in camera. So after you press set, you can edit the brightness, the exposure actually of the raw file. So the camera allows you to edit the raw file, you can um, readjust your white balance. You can reset your picture profile. You can enable or disable auto lighting uh, optimizer. You can reset the noise reduction. And this is basically um, what size you want to save it as. You can change the color space. You can apply peripheral illumination correction or reset it. You can correct the distortion. You can correct a uh, chromatic aberration and you can save it to the card. So nifty little feature, I don't find myself using that very often either, but still it's something your camera can do, it can edit raw images. And this one is resize, you resize the images. Rating, you rate your images in terms of stars, 1 to 5 stars. Um, slideshow, you play your images in a slideshow, it's loading. It goes automatically. But still, um, you can actually um, set it up to have transitions, repeat, how long each, um, each image shows up for, and you can even set background music. But of course, you have to load the background music separately from a computer. So, image jump. So, when you're in playback mode and you turn the main dial up here, you can choose it to jump only one image, 10 images, 100 images, and you can also uh, jump according to date. So if I turn this one stop, um, it will basically skip to the next date. And this one will skip to the next folder. And this one will display movies only. This one will display stills only. And this one will um, jump according to image rating. So you can even set it to how many stars you want it to jump to. Um, but still, I leave it on 10. And playback settings, you have highlight alert. So you can enable this and basically what this does is if you have an image that's over exposed, and let me just turn off raw whole moment. If your image is under uh, overexposed, it will flash the overexposed regions. So basically a nice alert feature to have to see if your images are overexposed. AF point display, enable. If you enable this and you take a picture with AF, obviously. It will show 
where the AF point was when you took the image. So it disappears when you zoom in, but still you can see the red square there that shows you the AF point chosen. Playback grid, you can set to have these grids overlay when you play your images back. Histogram display, so um, brightness will basically show you one overall histogram and RGB will show you um, an individual is, uh, histogram for the red, green and blue channels individually. Uh, movie play count, we've done this before. Control over HDMI, basically you enable or disable it. If you enable it, um, you can basically uh, control your camera on a compatible device via a HDMI cable.